Hi right, guys. Um, so this is my, I guess you could say my second day here at the same location as you can remember. And there's, there's the bridge behind me. And I wanted to come back out here and finish up what I wanted to do. But this video is not going to be about, about me just uh, talking. I'm just going to kind of show you what is what I'm coming across real quick before I pick it up. And how it settles here on our bay shore. So check it out. I've actually, I've done some pretty... I did a lot. I filled up the one bag already, but this is the kind of stuff I'm finding. You know, plastic bottles, they're everywhere. Lighters. Just take a walk out here. I'm just coming out here to see exactly what needs to be picked up. I try not to get to the too much of the little things. The big things are the biggest offenders. You see bottles everywhere. They're buried deep. You know, you really, oh, that's just a piece of plastic. I'll pick that up. And here you go, look at tennis balls. And this is from these are from people. Here's another one. People that love to just have their here's another one. Uh, people love to throw tennis balls out in the bay and uh, you know the dogs get like I said the dogs get tired of catching them. I'll throw this over there. I mean they're everywhere. You know, and the dogs get tired. And there goes the ball. And look at here, we go. Coconut. Yep. And there's coconut. The coconuts I'm not too worried about. Like I said, they're biodegradable. Nothing to worry about. Spray paint cans, probably from the jackasses that spray painted the, the pump house. Bottles, bottles and cans. Clap your hands. They're everywhere. More spray paint cans. More bottles. It's just, it's never ending. You can come back here probably for a week and uh, probably couldn't even hit it, all of it. But like I said, the, the big stuff I'm going to go for today, it's, it's another warm day here in the bay. You can't go to, any, you can't get, unfortunately, you can't get to, look at this. Forgot about this. You can't go out here into the, what they call the pickle weed. Like I said, endangered species. Look at this. Oh my God. They blow off of trucks from the, you know, the Bay Bridge or, or I mean, the Dumbarton Bridge or the, even the Bay Bridge way down there. And it just goes on and on. Containers. Ketchup packets, you name it. And none of this stuff is biodegradable, so it's going to be here for decades if not a century and there's another tennis ball there's a here's one right here tennis ball tennis ball golf ball <laughs> so yeah you got no shortage of uh of sporting equipment out here and here's another tennis ball oh my god well actually this is not a this is a fake plastic oops sorry fake plastic i can't even grab it there you go if you look underneath these tennis balls, it's all, here's another one. It's all rubber. It's rubber. That's not biodegradable. So, yeah. So, yeah, I'm just going to do a couple hours, a few hours here. It's Wednesday. I do have other things I unfortunately need to tend to. Here's another tennis ball. I mean, they're just everywhere, tennis balls. I mean, come on, people. You know what I mean? Come on. So, yeah, just, like, I don't know. I don't even know if I can put it in words how many tennis balls I have in this bag over here. There's probably a couple dozen inside this bag alone. So I just kind of wanted to let you, let you know, kind of see exactly what does wash up, you know, when the tide comes in. And where I'm located, it's in the southern East Bay. So this is like Grand Central Station. If it comes, if it flies off the, the Bay Bridge or hell, even probably the Golden Gate Bridge, eventually it's going to find its way here in the, uh, in this area. Just, uh, right, right south of the Dunbarton Bridge. It's like one big dump site. And here's another one. Another tennis ball. And here's another tennis ball. Jeez. You know what I want to call this, this little area? I want to call it Tennis Ball Cove. 
my god. All right, guys. I just kind of want to bring that. Just kind of show you a little bit of exactly, um, you know, where these tennis balls go. I mean, if you're one of those people, please consider if you feel the need to throw a tennis ball. Uh, you know, have your dog play fetch or whatever. That's fine, you know. Go to a lake. You know, at least there, they're not going to wash, you know, somewhere where people can't get to it. I mean, this is an area a lot of people just don't come out and take care of too much. Fact of any. Yeah. So, yeah, please be mindful of that. Give your dog a break. You know, throw it out there like, you know, five, ten times maybe. You know, especially if it's a little dog. Little dogs are weak. You know, they, they don't got the stamina like, you know, big dogs or anything. Just be mindful of that. Just give him a little break. Especially if he, if he comes back and he's panting. If your dog is panting, that's an indication that, uh, you know, give him a break for a minute. This is even worse. I don't like seeing these. Oops. Oops. Look at this. Fishing lure. Oh, shit. Ah! I thought, it was a, I thought it was a magic marker until it stuck me. Well, that's kind of normal to find. But still, it's not biodegradable. All right, that being said, I'm done. So, just wanted to kind of let you guys know what's going on around the, the bay. So, thanks for watching. Actually, share this video. This is one of those videos I would like people to share because, you know, that way people, you know, throughout the Bay Area at least, um, and, and in your communities. I mean, in Seattle, they got bays and stuff up there, you know. You know, stuff does go somewhere, and it ends up here. So, be mindful of that. Share the video. Let people firsthand see where trash goes, you know. It goes in places where there is neglected a lot. So, that, I'm done. There's my rant for the day. Peace out, guys. Talk to you later. All right, guys. So, after my last clip, I thought that was going to be the end of it. That little rant about what's going on, what I'm picking up. But I did want to follow through with the, um, the tennis ball thing. Um, in that bag that I had showed you, there was about close to two dozen tennis balls that I found. But about a half hour after continuing down the beach... Um, I found more tennis balls, and let me just show you exactly what I was talking about. Um, so here's the rest of I had found a milk crate and used that for the tennis balls. And you can see there's more tennis balls in there, a dozen more at least. I don't know, let's see. Some miscellaneous crap I'm going to throw away. So two, well this is a, it's a softball or something. Oh, it's a baseball. Two, four... 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 15, 15, 15 balls plus a baseball. Who knows? Probably a... I don't know. But there you go. This is what I'm talking about, though. It's not so much the felt that's on the outside of the tennis ball. After a while, that, go, that, that fades away, and this is what's underneath it. This is just rubber. And uh, that's the stuff that that doesn't degrade. And uh, I, like I said, again, you know, if you're going to, you know, spend time with your, you know, your dog and play fetch, that's great, you know. I used to do that when I had a dog. Uh, I, I just never threw a ball in the, in, the, in the bag. It was usually in a lake or something or in a park in general. But, yeah, here in the bay... You know, they just cut. They they float in from God knows where up north, and they come down this way. You know, in the southern league direction, southeast actually, because that's about where I'm at, south of Dumbarton, and they just wash up here. And that one area I showed you, it, it's like uh, it's uh, I call it Tennis Ball Cove. I mean, it's just incredible. So again, I just kind of wanted to show you. Yeah, it is pretty extreme, and I did. I haven't even scratched the surface. There's just so much stuff. I, I picked up all the. I think just the big items that were out there, the plastic bottles and containers and water bottles that people lost and tennis balls and I just left the coconuts. There, there are so many coconuts out there, but they're biodegradable. I'm not worried about that. Glass, I'm not too worried about either. Eventually that will diminish over time. But yeah, 
So be mindful. There it is. It's rubber. It's not going anyway anytime soon. So wanted to throw it out there. And now I am done with my video. Thanks again for watching. Share it. Let people know that, hey, you know, if you, if you want to play fetch with your dog, you know, just let him rest. Let the, let the dog rest. And uh, that's it. Peace.